Today, we're gonna to talk about how to buy and sell a home at the same time. I'm Mean Duong. And I'm Angela Duong. And we're with Coldwell Banker Two Guy Realtors and MadHomeJuta.com. What are we gonna talk about today? Today, we're gonna to discuss reasons people buy and sell at the same time the perfect scenario, why it's important to have a plan B, and steps to getting started. Okay, so why do people buy and sell at the same time? Um, one main reason a lot of people buy and sell at the same time is relocating for their job, uh, moving to a different city or a different state. Um, sometimes home is too big, empty nesters, it's time to downsize. Other situations, the family's growing, so they need more room in a bigger home. Um, sometimes people just need everything on the main level, and so they decide they don't want to do stairs anymore. So let's talk about the perfect scenario um, when you buy and sell your home, how it would be nice if it worked this way. The first thing you would do is list your house, and at the same time, you find another house. You get your home listed and under contract all while getting the next home under contract. The inspections and appraisals go well on both sides. So your inspections on the home that you're buying and the home that you are selling both go without a problem with no complications and you guys just move to the next step. The next and final thing would be that you move from one home to the next. So you would hope that your home would close and the home that you're buying would close at the same time so that you can just go ahead and go from one to your from your home right into the next one using the u-haul or the back of a truck however you want to get there that would be the ideal situation but sometimes you have to have a plan b so what kind of things would you say people should plan on doing if a perfect scenario doesn't happen I would say um, a good plan B is if you get along with your family or you have good friends, um, you can stay with them for a month or so, depending on the situation. You can rent an apartment until you find the right home for you. Um, you can make an offer contingent on your home selling. Um, you can counter offer on the condition of you finding a replacement home if someone makes an offer on your home. Um, people live in fifth wheel campers, fifth wheels and campers all the time. We've had a lot do that. And if you wanted to live in a tent, you could live in a tent, which might start getting cold this winter. But if you do that, right? <laughs> <laughs> so the steps to getting started, if you want to buy and sell at the same time, you're going to want to get a comparative market analysis. That's when you have one of, or you have your agent come in and do a walkthrough of your home and then give you a value of what your home would sell in this market. And they'll break down all the numbers so that you know how much you're gonna to have to go towards your next home or if you wanna pay some debt off in between the buying the new home and selling this one. So that's the first thing you wanna do is basically find out how much you have in your home as equity. And that will also help you when you go to the lender. So your next thing, you'll want to get pre-approved and just make sure that you are approved to go buy that next home because you wouldn't want to sell your home if for some reason you don't qualify for what you're looking for in the next home. So take your CMA with you to the lender and you're going to talk to them about what you can qualify for, how much money you're going to use from the sale of your home. Uh, so you know what kind of down payment you're looking at, what your house payment's going to be on the next home, and things like that. And the next step you'd want to do is prepare your home for sale. You can prepare your home for sale while you get pre-approved, but it just depends on how your schedule is. So you'll want to prepare your home for sale so it's ready when you are. Some people like to have their home listed and then start searching for the next home. Some like to just have their home ready, and when they find that next home, they go ahead and write the offer contingent on them selling their home, and then they go ahead and get it on the market as soon as they have a contract with that home that they want to buy. 
So just make sure that your home is completely ready for when you are ready to get moving. And then of course, another thing that you're gonna wanna have is an excellent real estate agent on your side. You want one that's gonna be able to guide you through both the sale and purchase and help you make that as smooth as possible because if you don't have a realtor that can handle both sides and help you with those guide or those deadlines, then it might not be as smooth as you were hoping. So have a great real estate agent on your side. So that's just a quick short version of buying and selling a home at the same time. Always remember that choosing an agent that knows their market um, is most important and will keep you ahead of the game. One that will guide you through all the steps in the process is going to make everything just as smooth as it should be. We hope that you found this useful and that it will get you started in the right direction. Of course, we'd be happy to talk to you in person over the phone and get you that CMA to get started in the process of buying and selling at the same time. And if you have not been to our channel before, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click like and comment. Again, we would love to help you. Go ahead and request our buyer and seller guides down below in the comments and let us know how we can help. Talk to you soon.